Good evening, I'm Lauren Culber. Thanks for watching KX News. In tonight's top story, school begins. Faculty and staff across the state are welcoming students back this week, but one school has a new look for its students. PJ Walker takes us there. New halls, new lockers, and new classrooms. That's what students were welcomed with on their first day back at Delac Burlington High. Back in November of 2000, it would be 17, our voters voted to approve a $12 million bond referendum, $11.9 million, which added a junior high wing to our high school and a new gymnasium and cafeteria to our high school. The superintendent of schools says the addition and renovation will not only enhance learning, but will also excite kids to come to school. When they came in, I, I, I said I'd never seen so many kids with their phones out recording their school and that's been an exciting thing for us. Life science teacher Dr. Sambo says the smiles on the students' faces this morning is what keeps her coming back. Uh, it's so fun to see them walk in and they walk in the room and they go, oh wow, this is so cool and just some really positive feedback. After teaching for 36 years, she says to see how much love has been put into the students and their education is priceless. This is the room I've taught in for a long time, but we totally gutted it out and then they started from scratch. So I used to have one little sink in the back corner. Now I've got four. The superintendent says he is excited for the school year and has only one message for students. The first day is an exciting day for the kids. They get, like I was telling you, they get 13 first, 12 first days of school and we want to make it memorable here at DLB. Reporting for KX News, I'm PJ Walker. And the superintendent also says with the new additions, students will be able to do more science and chemistry related experiments. Wilmore Elementary in Bismarck didn't just welcome in new students today. It also launched a new pilot program offering free breakfast to students. The breakfast in the classroom program is designed to get every